Hi everyone, this is Liz from Creative Life of Liz and I am here to show my haul for today. This is from Chasing Shells. You can tell I already opened it, but look at how cute this sticker is. Adorable. I think that's her dog. Let me just make sure I don't show you my shipping label, um, but good to go. Uh, she also also left like a, a cute note, um, which is now upside down, but um, <laughs> there we go. Uh, saying it's happy mail for me to not bend. Always cute to see. Um, so I shopped her Black Friday sale. I haven't opened up most of these things, but I'm really excited to see it. Um, I did um, put in, I'm pulling out my, my note right now. I did put into my notes, um, Tina for her freebie. And then um, my order came to just under $25. So she ended up including the $25 freebie as well as the all order freebie from Black Friday um, because she's just like a wonderful person and um, I love her shop and I'm excited to get the stuff. So this is the freebies. Um, I got a bunch of samplers in here um, from a ver various shops um, in addition uh, to the thing. So this is all orders freebie. It's um, silver foiled, um, I think it's silver foiled. Uh, not hollow, uh, but silver foiled uh, snowflakes of various sizes. So super cute. If I don't use this this month, um, since I think most of my spreads moving forward are, if they have foil, they're going to be gold. Um, I might end up using this in like January or something like that. And then the $25 fee freebie is also silver foiled. And it's a weekend banner with the cute little snowflakes, um, plus some date dots. So again, definitely something I can use. Um, this is just her business card. Um, with all of her info on it. Um, I really like her business card actually. It's kind of like a little bit metallic. I don't think you can tell that on camera, but I really love it. I also got this freebie is, that says an all at once summer collapse into fall. Uh, this one is also silver foiled. I don't know if you can tell that, um, but super cute there. It kind of goes with all the snowflakes um, in the design, but um, probably gonna save that one for the fall uh, as you might expect. Um, this is the bookish freebie, which has all these little like cozy, uh, bookish things. I will definitely be using this. Also, they have, uh, she has, um, a, uh, book club, which I might try to join for 2022. Maybe do a book or two. Um, but super cute there. And then this is a coffee mug freebie. I don't drink coffee, but I love using coffee for, uh, when we go to cafes or for meetings, things like that. Um, so also this one, excited to have that one. She included a random act of kindness in my stack as well. Um, so this one has, this is from a previous sale, I think, but it's an all orders freebie. Um, it's like pink and black and all these like shopping kind of things. Super cute. Um, this is uh, two sets of glitter headers in this kind of mauvey pink and then black. This is two full boxes that go with that same collection as well. And then this is kind of sidebar functional stuff that goes with that collection. Um, so definitely think that I could mix these in with some other pieces that I have for maybe another kit or for my leftovers or something like that um, and make a cute, little, a cute little spread that way. And then she also included a bunch of freebies from other shops. Um, so this is the Hello Happiness Co. Um, which is super cute. I like the little rainbow reminder. Um, Creating and Co. This one's kind of like a full box, but cut interestingly. It says, I read past my bedtime. A couple other kind of deco things. This is from Moonlight Paper Co. It's all these red pieces. Uh, brown sugar bourbon uh, distilling uh, sticker there. This is from Chasing Chels. This is her Monster Mash Freebie, which is all these cute like monster cupcakes, which I love and will definitely be using those. Um, this is from Crafty Planner Co. Um, some kind of functional icons there. Sticker Guru. This is gold foiled here. And this is kind of like a full box overlay, um, some deco, and then kind of like a wider deco strip as well as this little divider here. Super cute. And then OK Plans. Um, this one's a full box and then some deco and a couple of functional things. So also super cute. And I might try to save this and see if it mixes into one of my spreads. Um, we'll have to see how that goes for this holiday season. Um, but that's all the sampler side of things. 
tons of things. Excited to try all of that. Um, I got two kits um, that we can go through next. So the first is uh, the Tiana kit. So after the princess, um, I really like uh, the art of this kit and I love the colors that she ended up choosing. Let's see if I can get it out of the little plastic. Um, this is on like a matte paper. It's not, it's not like a uniform matte, it's just regular matte. Um, but I do like how um, concentrated the colors come out. Uh, so this is the full boxes. Super cute. I love it. Uh, this is functionals plus a ton of deco icon kind of things. Whatever I don't use, I will definitely be putting in my leftovers. I like how tiny they are. Um, and I like that there's a million TV icons because I feel like I use that a lot. Uh, I like this budget functional as well. It's not something I typically use, uh, but excited to have that kind of thing or another total kind of thing. It could be hours of work. It could be whatever. And then these are headers. Um, it come, it's like 12 headers here um, that you can mix in. Here's an extra full box. Um, I probably wouldn't use this one. Um, I'll probably save this one for my leftovers. And then you have your bottom washi and your date covers. Some more deco weekend banner and a bunch of functionals. More functionals and glitter headers. I like how unusual this lime color is. Um, it'll be hard to match, but it'll be fun. And then this is two more full boxes plus two extra long boxes. I would probably use one of these and maybe replace um, one of one of these guys with the long one to go in the sidebar and just have less in the way of functionals there. Um, and then um, that leaves me open to having maybe enough leftovers that I can do a second spread, um, but definitely leaving my options open there. So that's one kit. I'm just gonna put it with the plastic so that I don't, I don't lose the plastic because I like to store it when I have them that way so that I don't destroy them accidentally. I need to go through all my leftovers and everything else and get that cleaned up, but haven't gotten there yet. The other kit I got is called Scourgeify. Um, super cute cleaning kit. Um, so all the full boxes here. Again, I love the colors. Here's the functional with the deco um, some extra dividers or headers, uh, bottom washi, date covers, the extra full box here, functionals and some extra deco, more functionals and headers. And then this, this is an extra page of functionals rather than more full boxes for this kit. Um, so excited to use this one. Probably this one is going to be a summer kit for me. This one might end up being pulled out as a spring kit uh, for kind of like spring cleaning vibes. So we'll have to see. I like how there's a bright orange to kind of uh, divide up the more muted colors. Um, so definitely might appeal to me in the spring. The last thing I got, I bought the Chasing Shells 2019 Advent. Um, I haven't opened this yet. Uh, I do know what's in it because she posted it on um, the website. So it's not a surprise to me. Um, but I was excited about this. I always have like really mixed feelings about doing advents. Like I want to do them, but then I'm scared I'm not going to like something and I'll be frustrated. So I didn't buy it then, but I got it now. Um, Chels does hers with, in collaboration with a few other shops. Um, so we'll also get to kind of see that. Um, but I'm just going to go through it in the order that it's in this stack. Um, and hopefully it all makes sense. Um, so this is the first page of her Bella's um, doing a whole bunch of different things. Super cute. This is the gardening one. Uh, definitely will be using these. And I also just think they're kind of like fun for other springtime outdoorsy kind of activities. This is the daily page. So a bunch of kind of functional icon kind of things. This one is the life one. So some more kind of functional but icony kind of things. This one's spick. So some cleaning. I really like this one, even though it's kind of big. I think it's super cute. And then this one's span. Um, again, brooms are kind of big, but super cute. And I might actually use these brooms for a curling kind of theme, um, since like old school curling. Use those kind of brooms. Um, these are some bubble quarter boxes. These are labels um, in all these kind of colors. And then these are quarter boxes in rainbow colors in the rounded version. And then this is the non-rounded squared off version. These are some 
scene, scene boxes, uh, two double box scenes there so you can kind of pick your girl. Um, and then this is the other uh, scene with two options again. And then this is kind of like a glitter functional page. And this is the deco. So there is a kit in here, which I'm gonna show you in just a second. And this is the deco that goes along with it. I like the little snails, I think they're cute. So this is the full boxes of the kit. So you, these are the two scenes that are included. Um, and then if I go back over here somewhere, um, you can use these scenes if you wanna replace with a different girl um, in this regard. This is on glossy paper. Glossy is not usually my favorite. It makes pens harder, but it does make colors very vibrant. Um, and then I don't know how many of these to pick up. We'll try this. Um, this is kind of like the functionals page. I love these colors. I think they're super cute. This is a headers page. Um, you have um, 20 headers here, and then you have your set of glitter headers. So you're only one short on headers if you wanted to mix these in instead of using the glitter headers. So you have to figure out what to do with that one <laughs> header that you need still. Um, and some, some more of the deco. Here's your bottom washi. And then these are just splotches that I think you could treat as your date covers and just add the, the days there um, that might actually be available, I think coming up in the uh, foil stuff that goes with it. This is a functionals page. And this is four more full boxes, plus some quarter boxes and some checklists. All of this is on this glossy. Um, she's calling this kit Cottage, if you're curious, by the way. We then have all of this foiled stuff that would go with it. Um, so these are, it's all in silver foil. So you have two quotes and then two kind of decorative boxes. Um, I think the plan would be to use them over these four kind of more plain boxes. Um, you have a sheet of just butterflies that are foiled. This is kind of like your functional. So you have your bow washi and then this little bow thing. You have some corners. Um, this is, I think, just a, uh, these are corners as well. You have a full box overlay, another full box overlay. Um, rescheduled and canceled. A little bow line, a weekend banner. Um, you have your days of the week here. So you can put them on the swatches. If I can find that page. You can put them over your swatches here um, so that you can get your date covers. And then it also has the date dots that go with it. And then this page, it is three sets of these kind of like sprinkled bow and heart and dot um, header overlays. And then one set of bow overlays. And then this is a ton of functional icon kind of things. And all of this is silver foil as well. Then this is from Keep It Simple Stickers. Um, and this is some of her rabbit, I don't know what her character is called, um, but doing some various eating healthy kinds of things. Um, this is from Sticker Monster Co. And um, there's like a whole set that goes into here. So this is basically like a whole mini kit. So you have five full boxes here, and then you kind of have some functional icons kind of thing. This is called Spudley Spring. It's meant for TN. Um, you have your date covers, two sets of glitter headers, and some check boxes. Here you have some half boxes, labels, quarter boxes, some more kind of functional scripty kind of things. And then um, you have some sidebar functionals, your top three, um, your habit trackers, some boxes, things like that. I think all of these things would fit just fine in like a standard vertical. Um, probably that's what I'm gonna do. You're a couple of full boxes short um, of the typical eight that you would need if you're going to do um, like a full spread. But I definitely have some weeks where I'm kind of like too busy to necessarily fit eight full boxes in. And so using maybe like these five full boxes and then adding in some like deco or things like that um, on the other days would definitely work for me. This one is from A Beautiful Mess and it's a couple of full boxes, a couple of uh, quarter boxes and some functional things. This is from Bodacious Prints and these are all um, cut out icons 
in this kind of colorway. Um, so definitely would go with some of the other things in the kit. This is from Bean Sprout Paper Co. Some cute little florals, your little gnome, stuff like that. I personally, I think the colors go. So maybe using like this to fill in some of those missing full boxes, um, I think could be a good way to go. This is from Purple Bunny Prints. Um, you have a full box, a couple of smaller boxes, a divider, a weekend banner, and some icons. And then from the Fruity Sticker Co, you have these cute little sticky notes. Silver Oak Design, you get a bunch of these, these kind of cute little deco-y things. Um, and then this is from Kimmy's Studio, um, and she gives you like her reward card info. Um, and then this is the sheet that she gave in the um, the kit as well. So two full boxes, this is glitter headers, and then a bunch of functionals and icons there. So all of these go together. I think you can get at least two full weeks um, maybe three full weeks out of all of these pieces, plus have a ton of leftovers then um, for everything everything else. Like you're not gonna use all your Bellas and all of that kind of stuff in that amount of time. So this is really what I have. Um, super love everything. I'm excited to get it. Thank you to Chels because she's awesome and I love everything that she does. That's all I have for today. Let me know um, if you've gotten anything recently from Chasing Chels and also if you did this 2019 advent calendar, tell me how you ended up using all the stickers and how many weeks you got out of it. Um, I would love to hear about that. Um, like and subscribe below as well. I really appreciate it. It really helps me out. Follow me on Instagram at Creative Life of Liz so you can see in progress finished spreads. Um, I'll use these things and you'll get to see them being used. All of that good stuff. And until next time, bye.